to be in America. <laughs> you know, you know, well, yeah, you're kind of right. Most of babies are kind of terrorists. You know, you don't know. You gotta punch them. You gotta find out. We don't know who's who. Which are the good babies? Which aren't the good ones? We want to wait to find out which one are gonna grow up to be terrorists, which aren't. Knock them down. <laughs> like that. It was just that. That would that would have been a bill they would have passed. Bill be nuts. Anyway, um, so much to talk about. So little little time. The other thing, the whole um, when Bush has a new plan. When the, the Democrats got voted in, and he's like, Iraq is going badly. He finally admitted it. Finally admitted it in a speech. And he's like, I got a whole new plan. The new plan is to stay the course. <laughs> it ain't broke, don't fix it. Keep on, keep on. Like, that was the plan. The new plan is the old plan, but worse. But he did, it was amazing to me. He finally admitted in one speech. He actually goes, I know uh, we made mistakes in the past. But this time it's gonna be different. Like some abusive ex-boyfriend, <laughs> you know, who's trying to get back with us. He's like, I swear to God, I'm, I'm not gonna hit you this time. I've been counseling. It's different. I'm not seeing Iran anymore. It's totally be different now. And we got it. It's like when we, I, we, like, we, we literally voted him in again. Like, oh, we well, yes. <laughs> no, no, no. That's true. That's true. We did not. They cheated again, and he stayed in power. They fucked with the voting machines again. And then we were like calling Spain. Oh, I know, I know, we're back together. I know, it's complicated. It's complicated. <laughs> um, but I was in Kuwait recently, no joke. I went over there to perform for the uh, troops. I did, yes, one person, yes. <laughs> I'm a patriot. Against my will, I went. <laughs> I wanted to talk to the, I literally was like, I'm really genuinely against this war on, on so many levels. And I got this opportunity to go to Kuwait and talk to the troops and, and, and to perform for them. And I was like, well, I'm going to go and talk to them and see what they think it's about. You know, instead of just complaining from here, let me go there and complain there. So, let me complain in their faces. Um, and it was an interesting ex experience. And I did, I supposed to do a half hour. I'm like, what am I going to say to these kids? What am I going to say that they think is funny? 18 year old kids haven't been to college. Uh, so I wrote some jokes for them, and Jesse Simpson had just performed. She didn't open for me, but she performed earlier. <laughs> which isn't funny, she opened for me. So I said, uh, I opened with, um, who here saw the Jessica show? Jessica Simpson show, a couple people raised their hands. I was like, let me tell you something. That is a rat I want to invade. I'm not going to have an exit strategy. I'll be there for 50 years, I don't care. I'm going to be shooting stuff in there. Civilians are gonna be dying left and right. I thought that would get a groan out of them. They thought that was hilarious. <laughs> I was like, I was, I was more freaked out. I was really morbid that they were like, oh wow, the citizens dying left and right, but they thought that was hilarious. Okay, okay. And then um, you should see my face, by the way. And then I tried to throw in the anti-war joke. I tried to throw in a little like twist on them because it's anti-trench on the surface, but it's not underneath. And this is how they reacted. <laughs> I said, uh, I've been in Paris recently. I said, well, wherever I'm in France, I get a lot of shit for being from here. Wherever I go, people are like, so you're from America, yeah? How do you um, live with yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Am I saying that right? Live with yourself, that's how you say that? Am I saying that correctly? <laughs> and I got so sick and tired of having to justify myself and say, well, I don't agree with the war. Some people do, some people don't. Bush is like, uh, ratings are in the shithole, his overnights are terrible. And, thank you. And, um, and they, but they didn't want to hear it. They, the French did not want to hear a reasoned argument about the war. They just wanted to believe that we, all Americans, are like warmongering cowboys. So I gave it to them. And at the end of the week, I ran to some other girl who was like, so you're from the US, yeah? How do you sleep at night? I said, like everyone, with a shotgun in my hand, and she just hit my car. <laughs> now you get why that's funny. 400 soldiers just agreed with me. <laughs> Literally, I did that joke in this huge hall, and I thought they would get the stereotype. No, who knows? They, they all went, uh-huh, that is the correct way to sleep. <laughs> I'm on board so far, G-Boy. Where's the punchline? 
<laughs> when is this joke like funny? Because he got me. I'm, a, I'm totally on board. That is how we all sleep. <laughs> if I had said, like, how do I sleep with a blanket and a pillow, they'd be like, yes, that is right. That is how we sleep. I had to make up a punchline at the time, which didn't exist five seconds before. <laughs> that was awkward. But I did do the Wonder Woman joke. 